Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I thank the Honorable Parliamentary Secretary. Uh, it's one of my great fears when the uh, first draft consultation paper was put out about re repairing the damage, restoring the uh, original Navajo Waters Protection Act. And it looked as though we might just hold to a schedule only. And I was very gratified to find the definition had changed to say that Navajo Waters means a body of water, and then it goes on with some subclauses that is used or where there's a reasonable likelihood it will be used by vessels in full or in part for any part of the year as means of transport. Uh, it, this is a much broader definition. So it doesn't go back to the one we had from 1881. Uh, under Bill C-45 in fall of 2012, Mr. Speaker, we lost protection on over 99, 98 point something percent of the waterways of uh, interior waterways of Canada. So my question to the Parliamentary Secretary is, this is a good definition. We probably got protection back on something like 85, 89 percent of all the interior waters in Canada. But the nature of the protection is different because the impact assessment legislation in part one of this omnibus bill did not restore the requirement that the Minister of Transportation would have to have an impact evaluation, an environmental assessment, an impact assessment before granting a permit to interfere with navigation on these waters. What's the nature of the protection, given that that gap wasn't replaced? Parliamentary Secretary. I'd like to thank the uh, honourable member for her question. And I think what was behind this is that we saw a need as well to increase the number of navigable waters that were protected. And we found that uh, if all you did was protect what was on the schedule, that wasn't near enough. So expanding it, and I think the number I've seen there are almost 100,000 named waterways in Canada. And to expand that protection to those waterways is, is so very critical. There are, there are some minor works that we, we felt that could move ahead um, that would not have to be uh, so controlled as, as in the past. And I think that's what we've tried to do. Allow maybe a cottage dock or a, a, some small repair to a seawall be done without um, triggering a full environmental assessment. And we tried to find that balance, Mr. Speaker.